What up, everybody? You're watching New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. The 2023 NFL Draft is over and done with. I love what Joe Shane did in his second draft as the Giants general manager. But we're going to break down the guys that he is signing as undrafted free agents. So in today's show, we're going to go through all seven UDFAs that the Giants have had. And then there's rumors around seven guys that are going to get rookie minicamp tryouts for Big Blue. A little bit different there. The UDFAs UDFAs are actually signing a contract, while the rookie minicamp guys are going to have to try out and eventually make the roster spot. The reason the Giants signed seven of these guys is because at this moment of the NFL offseason, you can have up to 90 players on the roster. The Giants, after the NFL draft, had 82 players on the roster, which means they could have signed eight UDFAs, but they've only signed seven as of this video being filmed, which means some of those rookie minicamp trials, maybe one of them could end up making the 90-man roster. So we're going to break those guys down coming up in a quick second. But first, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel because we're going to continue to put out videos every single day all summer long about the New York football giants. We put out more content around the NFL draft than any other Giants YouTube channel out there. And it's my job to, keep, job to keep that rolling. So hit that sub button and roll with us the rest of the NFL offseason. Let's start with the biggest name that everyone is extremely happy about that the Giants signed as a UDFA. That is Bryce Ford Wheaton, the big time wide receiver out of West Virginia. I'm already seeing people talking about he's a lock to make this roster. He's going to have to earn it, no doubt about it. Great size, speed combination with strong contested catch ability. Poor career production, but some of that can be blamed on the bad QB play that he had to deal with. He flashed the ability to break some tackles and have some yards after catch, but he's got to keep that going. This is a guy that's like 6'4 6'5", 215 pounds, runs like a 4'5", 40. He's a 4'3". 40. He is a physical specimen. He's someone that a lot of people are saying, that's our X receiver. Um, has a little bit of the drops, and that's a problem at the wide receiver position, but man, he is a physical freak. He can go up up top and moss a lot of DBs out there, but he's going to have to prove it through the uh, rookie mini camps and once uh, the offseason program continues to roll on. Look, I like this pickup by the New York Giants. It's just a dart throw at the dartboard. The guy went undrafted for a reason, but man, six foot five, four three. The ability he has is definitely special. 62 grabs last year, 675 yards, seven touchdowns, and 11 yards per catch. Maybe the Giants it's got their next wild UDFA wide receiver that could produce down the line. These videos are always, always fun. Let's go to a cornerback out of Michigan that the Giants have signed. That is G Mon Green. He is six foot one, 183 pounds, out of DeSoto, Texas. This is a guy that at Michigan, he was an all Big Ten selection in 20 honorable mention coaches and media in 2022. He appeared in 42 games with 24 starts at quarterback. And in one game, he played special teams. Only four year letterman uh, at Michigan this past year. He had 20 tackles, four pass breakups. He's going to have to earn this roster. And after the Giants selected two cornerbacks in the 2023 NFL draft, it's going to be an uphill battle for G. Mon Green. But he's flashed some talent at Michigan throughout his college career. Maybe he'll have a chance. He's definitely going to have to fight and earn it. We're going to break down some more guys in a second. But I want to get your one-word reaction to the Giants draft this year. I gave the draft an A overall. I gave the first three rounds an A+. Plus. I love what Joe Shane did. He found a way to match need, positional need, with best player available on the board. And when you do that, you just turn in the card and you start partying in the NFL draft room. And that's what the Giants did for three days straight. So I want to hear from you. The one-word reaction to the Giants draft this year. Giants also signed a UDFA at the linebacker position, Troy Brown out of Ole Miss. Six foot and three quarters inch, 223 pounds. In 2022, he was an all SEC third team, according to PFF College. In 2022, he had a, a the Lot Impact Trophy quarterfinalist, Buckkiss Award watch list, Reese's Senior Bowl watch list. In 2021, he was first team all MAC at Central Michigan. He was also the first team all MAC, PFF Phil Steele. So the guy's got some talent. He appeared in all 13 games in 2022, 12 starts at 
at the linebacker spot, led the team with 93 total tackles. He had one sack, five pass breakups. He likes to get downhill. He finished second on the team uh, with five pass breakups like we just talked about. Registered four quarterback hurries and one forced fumble versus Troy back in September. He's a guy that definitely has some talent. Giants could use some help at the linebacker spot. So maybe they get a guy right here, a little uh, UDFA diamond in the rough. We're going to continue to talk about all the UDFAs and the rookie minicamp tryouts. The Giants got seven of those guys coming to town. But first, I want to tell you about our proud sponsor of today's show, and that is Fume. Go to tryfume.com slash chat sports and get hooked up with them. That link is in the comments and description of today's show. Are you tired of struggling with bad habits? Cold turkey might be great for sandwiches, but there's a better way to break free from those pesky bad habits. And it doesn't involve weird mind voodoo or other bizarre tactics. Introducing our sponsor, Fume, an innovative award-nominated device that helps you kick bad habits at the curb by focusing on the good parts. You can scan the QR code on screen to learn more about our awesome sponsor, Fume, which they are all about embracing the natural. It's not electronic, and instead of vapor, Fume uses uses flavored air. Best of all, it's free of harmful chemicals and packed with delicious all-natural flavors. The adjustable airflow dial and movable parts and magnets make it perfect for fidgeting, which can help alleviate stress and anxiety while you break your habits. Start your journey towards a healthier lifestyle with the journey pack from Fume. Visit tryfume.com slash chat sports and use code chat sports for 10% off when you purchase the journey pack today. That's T R Y F U M dot com slash chat sports. And don't forget to use the code chat sports for 10% off your order. The link is down in the comments and description, or you can scan the QR code on screen to unlock this offer. The Giants, they got themselves a rookie minicamp arm, and that is Tommy DeVito, the quarterback at Illinois. Him making this roster is going to be really tough for him. I don't want to say he had a terrible college career, but it was definitely up and down, to say the least. According to the Chat Sports Big Board run by Tom Downey, he had DeVito as the 19th QB in this class. Six foot one, 210 pounds. He's a local kid out of New Jersey, 25 years old. He was a senior this past year for Illinois. 69.6% completion percentage, just over 2,600 yards, 15 touchdowns, four interceptions. Giants got to have somebody to throw the rock at uh, rookie minicamp, and uh, that's going to be good old Tommy, Tommy DeVito. Deontay Johnson out of Toledo, not the wide receiver, the linebacker. Deontay Johnson is another UDFA that the Giants are bringing in, and he's got some size to him, man. 6'2", 235 pounds, uh, was not ranked on the big board here at Chat Sports, and that's probably why he was a UDFA. He was named a preseason second team All-Mac in 2022. In 2021, he was third team All-Mac, fourth on the team with tackles in 86, started all 13 games. He was named the Mac West Defensive Player uh, of the Week for his performance versus Notre Dame on September 11th. Uh, this past year, though, he had 108 tackles, three sacks, three pass breakups, Look, he's going to be competing. That's what all these guys are going to be doing. I keep on saying it, competing, competing, competing. And that's what you do. That's what you want as a football player in a UDFA. You're just looking for a chance. You're looking for one opportunity to crack an NFL roster. All of these guys are going to be running around at rookie mini camps with their head cut off, trying to make this roster. And I think at the linebacker spot, one of these UDFAs might just do that. I do want to let you guys know as well that we posted our NFL draft grades for the New York football Giants yesterday on the channel. We broke down all seven players they selected. We gave out individual grades for every single pick, and then I gave a team grade for Joe Shane. So go watch that video. I'll link it down in the description. The thumbnail looks like that, or you could just go on the channel and click it. Make sure to hit that like button. Show some love. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to mess this, this name up. I've said it 15 times before this video, and it's not going to matter. Habakkuk Baldonado. That's the best I got. That is the best I got. You can laugh at me in the comment section. Uh, Habakkuk Baldonado. He's six foot four, big guy, 250 pounds. He's from Italy, so you're getting a little Italy flavor over for the New York Giants. Oh, man, that name is giving me nightmares right now. Six foot four, 250 pounds. Oh, my gosh. He was an edge out of Pittsburgh, according to Tom Downey. He was a 37th rank edge and the 270 rank prospect. Just 24 tackles, five tackles for loss, two sacks. Um, him making this roster, 
I hope it happens so I have to learn this name. I may get his jersey one day if he, if he makes this roster. Um, but the Giants, they do need some more beef, and they need some more production at that edge spot, especially guys that can get after the passer. Only two sacks for HB. That's what I'm going to call him until I can learn that name. But, uh, yeah, we'll see if he makes this roster. Definitely going to have to earn it. The last UDFA we'll talk about before we get to some uh, rookie minicamp tryouts offers is Cameron Lyons, a long snapper. So Casey Kreider, you better watch your back, my man. Cameron Lyons, long snapper out of Charlotte. Um, we don't rank long snappers here at Chat Sports, which is probably a problem. You can type F Tom in the comments section if you want him to start ranking long snappers. Uh, six foot, 225 pounds. Um, good for him. He's earned this. Good, good, good for Cam. Good for Cam. Let's ride. Make sure you guys follow me over on Twitter at Marshall Green underscore. If the Giants sign any more UDFAs or there's any more minicamp tryouts that start to leak out there, the first place you're going to hear about it is over on my Twitter at Marshall Green underscore. So give me a follow and let's talk some ball over there. There's seven guys right now that are rumored to have gotten mini camp, rookie mini camp tryouts from the New York football giants. Alex Cook, the safety out of Washington. Orion Vance, I think that's how you say it, a uh, uh, linebacker out of Iowa State. Khalil Keith, the offensive lineman out of Baylor. Garrett Mag, the wide receiver out of North Dakota State. Carlos Correri, the carrier. That's just not how you spell carrier. Wide receiver out of Central Michigan. Keymor Gamble, tight end out of UCF. Ryan Jones, tight end out of ECU. Seven names so far that have been uh, offered or potentially offered. Rumored. Rumors. You know we talk about rumors. Mini camp tryouts. And we'll recap the UDFAs the Giants have signed so far. Gmon Green, Deontay Johnson, Troy Brown, Tommy DeVito. Bryce Ford Wheaton is definitely the biggest name that a lot of people are attaching to right now. He's probably got the best chance to make this roster. Giants need a true physical, big, imposing threat on the outside. He's going to have a chance with my guy HB Habakkuk Baldonado. Uh, that's just not right. I've said it six different ways, hoping one of the ways I have said it is correct than the good long snapper. I really like the speed and the uh, velocity on his long snaps. He's definitely going to have a chance uh, to make this roster, but we'll see. One of these guys, I can promise you this, one of the UDFAs will make the New York Giants roster. Which one is it going to be? You decide. Drop their name in the comments section. Thank you to everybody that watched every draft video we put out over the past three days. It means a lot. We appreciate it. Be a real one. Like this video. We'll see you later.